We want to give a special thanks to Surprisimals for providing us with Surprisimals. Today on Unbox Daily, we have some fun finds. Fun finds are cool items that we find for the dollhouse that weren't necessarily made for dolls. But we're going to use them anyway. At Walmart, we found these drink rafts. These are definitely not made for dolls. However, I am pretty sure we can use them as a doll flotation device. Warning, not to be used as a personal flotation device. Uh, I'm pretty sure they weren't talking about dolls when they wrote that. Inside we have three miniature floats. I got this one because I love unicorns. However, there are other options like an alligator, duck, a swan, a little island. Now that I'm unfolding it, the unicorn is actually pretty big. Let's see what it looks like when it's inflated. It's raining unicorns! I think we can actually use this in the pool. It's a nice size, so it should definitely be able to hold the doll's weight. And the bottom is sealed, so if you don't want your doll to get wet, there's no problem. Well, unless somebody is splashing in the pool or something, because then you're on your own. Okay then, let's do this. Oh yeah, a girl can get used to this. You go ahead and finish the video. I'm gonna hang out here for a while. Uh, this is too awesome! Then I went to Claire's and they were having a buy three, get three free sale. I got a cell phone cover. Yeah, I like rainbow unicorns. And for the dolls, we found a few things too. For $6.99, these are cell phone holders and they look like little chairs. This one is a donut. Here's a little panda. And this one is a fuzzy blue puppy. <laughs> look at those little ears. Let's see how the dolls look in these chairs. The fuzzy blue puppy is perfect. Let's try the donut. She can still sit on it. It's just a little lower than the other one. Same goes for the panda. And then the ears, the little pom-pom ears, they kind of look like armrest on the sides. Let's see how they'll look in a doll room. Here I have just thrown a few things together real quick. And we can place our fuzzy puppy chair right next to the bed so the dolls can have a place to read their books. Ah, but the donut chair does look cute in this space too. All of the chairs are Velcroed onto a metal frame. So if you want the frame and you want to change the look of the fabric part of the chair, you can totally do that. And then just use the original fabric as a guide, like a pattern. So that's an option. If you want something other than a fuzzy puppy, donut, or panda. I think they had some other options too. I just can't remember what they are right now. I saw this unicorn lip gloss and I thought it would be so cute as a little figurine in a doll's room. This was $4.99, but remember, we got everything at half off because it was buy three, get three free. So it was, you know, half the price. All we have to do is remove the hardware because it's attached to a keychain. I wonder if I can get the lip gloss section out. I think it... <sighs> It can be done. Now we have the lip gloss separate and we can still use it if we choose. If we paint like a little black line on the back, gotta be real still. Then it could be a piggy bank or a unicorn bank. You know what I mean. And it has this shiny look to it like it's porcelain. Yeah, easiest piggy unicorn bank ever. Near the checkout at Claire's, we found these world's smallest. These are awesome because they are toys from like, you know, back in the day and they've made them in miniature and most of them actually work. See, right here it says, yes, actually works. Is that a Polaroid camera? Does not take real photos. Man, 
And here I was thinking I was about to get a Polaroid camera for $6.99. But I still want the Polaroid camera because it looks awesome. In fact, we made one that looks just like it in one of our previous videos. So yeah, you should go look that up. Since this is a blind box, we could get any of the following. There is an Etch-A-Sketch, a Rubik's Cube, we've made one of those too, a Doodle Top, eh, the Polaroid camera, yes, a Hot Wheels car, which would look really cool on a doll counter, a little tiny telephone that's called a chatter phone. <laughs> Every preschool in America has one of these, a yo-yo, and a magic eight ball. Out of all of these, I really want the Polaroid camera. I'll be happy with the Rubik's Cube or the Etch-A-Sketch and the Hot Wheels. And I'll take that too, because that will look cute in our Chelsea rooms. Everything else, I'm just hoping for the other ones. Oh, blind boxes make me so nervous. Okay, come on. Good fortune today. Please say it's something awesome. Uh, do you do this? <laughs> Fill the bag to see if it's something cool inside. Let's just go ahead and get it over with. And it is, what? A Pez? It's not even that small. It's not like a miniature doll size. Let me look at this box. Ah, uh, mystery item. Ugh. Okay, we have one more, which means one more chance. I'm just ripping through this box this time. One more chance. Come on, this feels like the Rubik's Cube. And we're gonna need scissors. I cannot rip through the bag, but it does feel like the Rubik's Cube. And I was right. Scale-wise, it's a little oversized, but I think it could still work in the dollhouse. It does actually work. You can turn all of the little parts here. Some sides are easier to turn than others. And you can really do the Rubik's Cube. This is so cool. <laughs> and look, I'm mixing it up and now I will never be able to get it back right. Hmm, maybe if I could just go back in reverse. Yeah, that should work. Look at me, I'm solving the Rubik's Cube. <gasps> Yay, I did it. <gasps> Aren't you so proud? Yay. So that's all of the fun finds we found at Claire's. Our last fun find is surprise moles. These can be found at Walmart and Target, and it is a blind ball that has a mystery stuffed animal inside. I was thinking that any stuffed animal that could fit inside of an Easter egg sized ball would make a great stuffed animal for our dolls. I am hoping for the hedgehog. I have a feeling we're gonna do a little better here than we did with the world's smallest. Just peel off the plastic wrapper and it's a bear. Oh, it's kinda cute. Who doesn't love a teddy bear? But I want a hedgehog. So let's try again. Second time's a charm. No, it's not. Oh, it's a horse though. I like horses. It's a pink one too. Wait. It's not just any horse, it's a unicorn. Yay, we've had a lot of unicorns today. Love it. Must find the hedgehog. Oh, a zebra, not a hedgehog. Another zebra, a koala, another koala, a dog. I just want a cute little hedgehog. Oh wait. A narwhal. It's like getting another unicorn. Oh, I still want the hedgehog. Come on, come on. This one has to be it. A turtle, another narwhal, a fox, a bulldog, and a Pomeranian. Well, at least now the dolls have lots of stuffed animals. And we did get a unicorn. All of the little stuffed animals look like they are sitting down. They have large, crystally looking eyes. You can see a little glitter in there. And their tag says their name and has a little background information. For example, this is Crystal Unicorn. 
Crystal the Unicorn is hard to find, but is the most special friend you will ever have. Aww, her birthday is January 2nd, her favorite color is ruby, and she is going to look adorable on our little doll beds. Thank you for joining us today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. We often have giveaways on our My Froggy Stuff Instagram. Hint, hint for a future giveaway. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. Bye.